At the Cobequid Wildlife Rehabilitation Center in Canada, staff encountered a massive bald eagle in their yard, visibly exhausted and lacking the will to survive. A female eagle lay helplessly on the ground, unable to lift her head or take flight to safety. Fortunately, she landed within the center's grounds, where she was promptly discovered. The fate of a grounded bird of prey is typically dire, making her fortunate to have been noticed and brought in for observation and care. This eagle's size was unprecedented at the center, prompting the staff to affectionately dub her Birdzilla. Her remarkable stature caught the attention of all, marking a unique addition to the center's wildlife residence. Subsequent investigations revealed that the eagle had suffered from lead poisoning, likely from consuming prey contaminated by lead ammunition fragments. While not a comforting diagnosis, it did allow for the initiation of treatment. Fortunately, the medical interventions proved effective, and Birdzilla began to show signs of improvement. As her condition steadily improved, discussions arose about reintroducing her to the wild. The center's employees observed that she had become increasingly aggressive, which they interpreted as a positive sign indicating her desire to live. According to the doctors, this behavior was natural for these birds. Birdzilla's eagerness to return to the wild became more pronounced, making it increasingly challenging to keep her in captivity as she actively sought ways to escape and return to her natural habitat. However, a couple of days after Birdzilla arrived at the center, the staff began to find various animals that eagles typically prey upon scattered around the center's grounds. Soon after, they noticed a large bald eagle constantly circling above the center, a behavior unusual for bald eagles who typically avoid human settlements. As days passed, the reason behind the circling eagle became clear. The male eagle, strong and courageous, continued to circle the center during the day, occasionally flying off to fetch food which he then dropped in the snow for his mate. In the evenings, he perched in a tree near the entrance, keeping watch over the center throughout the night. It became evident that he was deeply attached to Birdzilla, who was being cared for inside. This routine persisted for an entire month, demonstrating the male eagle's profound sadness and unwavering commitment to his mate. Even seasoned veterinarians were astonished by the level of dedication displayed, likening it to a human-like relationship. As the treatment progressed successfully, a few weeks later, the recovered bird was ready to be released. The veterinarians carried her cage outside and opened it, allowing her to take flight. Without hesitation, the bird swiftly soared into the sky, showing no interest in lingering or posing for photos with the staff. She circled the center until she spotted her mate. He emerged seemingly out of nowhere, and the pair engaged in an airborne dance, flapping their wings joyously, as if they were reuniting after a long separation. After a few minutes, the eagles landed on a tree branch and began to communicate loudly, their calls carrying a sense of deep emotion. Their interaction was so captivating that it drew the attention of passersby. After one final circle around the center, the couple flew off together, gradually disappearing into the horizon. The employees of the center were deeply moved by the sight, filled with awe and admiration. It is hoped that this eagle pair will not need the rehabilitation center's services again, but instead will continue their journey soaring through the skies together. Some about bald eagles that you might find intriguing. The fact that bald eagles typically form lifelong bonds with their mates. Originating from North America, they rank among the largest birds of prey boasting a wingspan that can stretch up to 2 meters. In the wild, bald eagles have an average lifespan of 28 years, while those in captivity can live up to 36 years. Their vocalizations consist of a weak whistling sound, which tends to be more rough and shrill in younger birds. They primarily vocalize during the mating season or to alert one another of potential dangers. Bald eagles possess exceptional vision. Thanks to their specific eye placement, which grants them superior binocular and peripheral vision. They are also renowned for their impressive flying abilities, capable of reaching speeds of up to 56 kilometers per hour during regular flight. When in pursuit of prey, they can accelerate to speeds ranging from 120 to 160 kilometers per hour. Interestingly, bald eagles often hunt cooperatively, 
showcasing their remarkable teamwork. Bald eagles exhibit a unique hunting strategy where one eagle frightens the prey while the other seizes it with its sharp, long claws. Although fish is their preferred food, they also consume other birds such as ducks, as well as muskrats, and occasionally turtles. They are opportunistic feeders and will scavenge carrion, and even steal prey from other birds. Sadly, the bald eagle population has faced a significant decline due to habitat destruction. However, 17 years after being declared an endangered species, their numbers increased dramatically, growing tenfold compared to 1963. In 2007, they were removed from the endangered species list, but are still protected under the Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act of 1940. Despite this protection, they are still targeted by poachers and continue to lose their habitats. On a different note, there is a unique group of birds in the Acetripeda family known as griffin vultures. These birds solely feed on dead animals and do not hunt live prey. Griffin vultures have large bodies and strong, hooked beaks. Their habitat ranges across the northern part of the African continent, southern Europe, and Central Asia. Similar to bald eagles, griffin vultures also form enduring partnerships that last a lifetime. Interestingly, any betrayal within this devoted bond can incur the collective wrath of the entire flock. Despite not being conventionally attractive birds, they exhibit genuine love and loyalty. Griffin vultures construct their nests in tall mountainous trees, with nest diameters reaching up to 2 meters. Although they build substantial nests, griffin vultures typically lay only one egg per breeding season. Incubating the egg is a lengthy process, spanning more than 50 days, during which both male and female griffins take turns sitting on it. The newborn griffin chicks remain vulnerable for an extended period, requiring around three months before they can fend for themselves. During this time, the parents dutifully provide care and nourishment. Adult griffin vultures boast a considerable lifespan, often reaching up to 50 years. These impressive birds can weigh up to 12 kilograms, with a wingspan spanning nearly three meters. Given their size and weight, they rely on soaring rather than constant flapping to navigate the skies, skillfully harnessing air currents for efficient flight. Griffin vultures are known to ascend to remarkable altitudes, with documented cases of flights reaching heights of up to 11 kilometers. However, they typically maintain an altitude of around 3 kilometers while scanning the landscape for food, showcasing their keen eyesight. Albatrosses, on the other hand, are magnificent birds with wingspans extending up to three and a half meters. Historically regarded as symbols of good fortune by sailors, their significance is immortalized in Samuel Coleridge's poem, The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Unfortunately, this belief has waned, and albatrosses are now threatened by various human-induced dangers. Despite their potential for long life, up to 30 years, they often fall victim to pollution, particularly plastic waste in oceans, which they mistakenly ingest. These majestic birds are capable of covering vast distances over the open ocean, but their survival is increasingly imperiled by human activities. Despite their extensive journeys, albatrosses always return to the same location and partner when it's time to breed. The bond between male and female albatrosses takes several years to form and lasts a lifetime, characterized by a ritualistic dance. This dance begins with a nod, followed by a prolonged gaze, and then they stand on their tiptoes, allowing their beaks to touch. The dance continues, resembling a loud and intimate tango. Black-footed albatrosses may engage in several dances or nest-building activities before they actually mate, establishing a union that can endure for up to 20 years or more. Nearly two-thirds of all albatrosses, around 399,000 couples, lay their eggs in the Falkland Islands, these seabirds demonstrate remarkable care for their offspring, even pre-digesting food for them. The prey is transformed into an oily, nutrient-rich substance, which the mother regurgitates into the baby's mouth. The birds showcased are not just beautiful and strong, but also incredibly loyal. Their level of devotion and love is truly admirable.